what happens when you walk into a bar and everybody's staring at you because of what they think you're about to do? Stay tuned, you'll find out. I'm the Saipan Sailor, and this is called B Joint. So, <clears throat> the year was 1976. I was an oiler on board the Sealand San Pedro, that old C4. And we were heading to Piraeus, Greece. So I got to talking to one engine, one of the engineers, <clears throat> asking him about that place. He said, "Oh, everybody goes to John Bulls, John Bulls, B-U-L-L-S." So I got off a of watch that night, <clears throat> got ready to go ashore, counted my money, and I went to John Bulls. Well, when I walked into place, I noticed that it was uh, packed with people, mostly guys, and they were sitting in booths and some tables, but there was a bar that nobody was sitting at except one person, and that was this Asian female dressed in lingerie. She's wearing lingerie. Now I stood frozen still because I'm looking around the room. <clears throat> the first thing that comes to mind is why isn't anyone sitting with her, you know? But what I should have thought is why is she wearing lingerie, you know, and sitting at the bar? But my thought process is just didn't quite get that far, if you get my drift. And besides, here I am, I'm a teenager, 16, seven years, 17 years old, and I have no clue what's going on. But as I think back, <clears throat> I just know that everyone was staring at me, wondering, is he going to walk up to the bar and talk to her? Yeah. I did just that. <clears throat> Made a beeline right for the bar. Bellied up. Ordered myself a drink. And I turned to her and said, hi. <laughs> She said hello back. I said, you want a drink? And she said, yeah, sure. She acted all nonchalant, you know. So I bought her a drink. And it came in a little shot glass. I figured, you know, she's drinking straight whiskey, you know, because it was 20 bucks a drink for her. I didn't care. I mean, I was, I was all over her. Well, maybe a half hour, I don't know, an hour went by. A hundred bucks later, I should say. I started noticing I was getting a little drunk. 
but she wasn't. I mean, they were giving me good, you know, good solid drinks. So I looked at her shot glass. I said, let me try that. And I grabbed it, took a taste of it, and it was iced tea. I still didn't really care, you know, because I never seen anything like this before, you know. But I quickly realized, <laughs> I, I mean, it dawned on me eventually that uh, she wasn't leaving a bar room. So I left. Yeah, I left the bar, went back to the ship. And every time I went ashore in Piraeus, I would look for a different bar, hoping it'd be different. But it was the same thing. One or two girls sitting there wearing lingerie. So I caught on quick. When I got back to Michigan, I told my father about it and he laughed. He said, what, those places are called B joints. They've been around since World War II. He said, yeah, those girls aren't going anywhere with you. And that's the end of this short story. Uh, I just thought I would tell it because that's a lesson I learned early in life. And I'm glad I did. It served me well in the later years. <laughs> I'm the Saipan Sailor. Clear skies and calm seas, everyone.